Well, that's a tough one. Um, clearly, I'm not Richard McCoy, but I can tell you that um, if he was here today, he would absolutely love uh, what's going on with our sport. Um, he loved the ABCA convention. You know, he loved coaches. Um, he would be so honored and so proud to be recognized amongst, alongside some of his best friends and, and people that he worked with and supported for so many years. Um, but there are a lot of things about Richard that he loved that maybe you don't know. I know a lot of you knew Dick McCoy very well and very intimately um, and maybe worked with him or you know, shared some laughs with him over the years. But you know, he loved volleyball. Um, he loved rock and roll, and I can tell you that because our offices were right next to each other, and I could hear the Rolling Stones on a consistent basis at a high level almost every other day. Um, he loved surfing, you know, and I know this because every time we made a sales trip to Hawaii, he would make me carry all the samples because he had the longboard to check in. Um, you know, he loved representing his country. Not many people knew that he served in, uh, he was a U.S. Marine, once a Marine, always a Marine. Um, serving his country, and I think that would, had something to do with the fact that he just loved to put his hand on his heart during the playing of the national anthem, during volleyball matches, and when any of our USA players were on the podium. Um, you know, he loved his friends and family, and uh, you know, he made his competitors his friends, uh, he made his employees his family, he treated us with such respect, and those are the things that, that we remember most about him now. Um, you know, for 33 years, Richard was the face of Mikasa. And uh, when you made a contract with him, it wasn't just making a contract with the company. It was a personal commitment by him for a lifelong friendship. You know, he was an extremely loyal person. Um, he put the full weight of his company, the company that he helped found, the company that he personally supported financially, emotionally, physically. Um, there were days that went by that if an order needed to go out, Dick put everything down and went into the warehouse and, and dragged us all with him and inflated balls and boxed them and, you know, and put them on the truck. Um, you know, he, he taught us as part of his extended family that when you make a commitment in our sport, it's not just on paper, it's you go above and beyond, it's a personal thing. Um, you try to be more than just the ball supplier. You try to be somebody who can help solve the problems and anticipate them and, and be a part of the solutions. You know, he uh, passed away um, in 2012, uh, had retired from Akasa and was living um, a really happy life uh, in Maine. And uh, I remember when I got the news, you know, some of the things I remembered about Richard is, you know, he loved coaches. You know, he didn't coach himself in the sport, uh, which is why I kind of think he always had this special respect and a, you know, a soft spot in his heart for the coaches. Uh, he loved the AVCA, absolutely. This was his favorite time of the year, you know, and I think it was more about seeing people that he hadn't seen in a while. And uh, a lot of those folks have come forward since his passing, and, and I know the family deeply appreciates that. Um, I just want on behalf of the family, uh, Dale, his wife of 50 years, was by his side when he passed. His daughter, Tiffany, who was a junior volleyball player, and his son, Jeff. Uh, who now works in the film and entertainment industry. You know, on behalf of their family, they wanted to express their sincere appreciation to the AVCA Hall of Fame Selection Committee, um, to Jostens, you know, a company that shared his philosophy about supporting the coaches and, and making a long-term commitment you know, to our sport. Um, and he especially wanted to, I know would want to thank Kathy and the AVCA and all of the, the staff and the coaches out there that um, chose to honor him in this very special way. So thank you very much.